In the first training, we used the builder to create an agent. In this training, we will use the web console to manage both the agent we created and the data captured. After logging in, I am taken to the Mozenda Home tab. Let's start by going over the different tabs. As you can see, there are three tabs. Home, Agents, and Collections. If I click on the Agents tab, I can see a list of the agents that I have built. At the moment, there is only one. I can mass manage a number of agents by using the checkbox. Under More Actions, I have the option to run agents now, schedule agents, publish the agents data, etc. Under the Collections tab, I can view the data that my agents collect. A collection is exactly that, a collection of data in my account. It is similar to a spreadsheet. There are several types of collections within Mozenda and several ways to manage them that we will discuss later. The three different types of collections are agent collections, input collections, and combined collections. Here is the collection associated with my large retail tablets agent. As you can see, it is an agent collection and contains the data that I taught the agent to capture from the target website. An agent collection is directly connected to a specific agent and cannot be deleted without deleting the associated agent first. Input collections are created by uploading a data file to my Mozenda account. These files can contain any data that I need to use in order to build an agent. They are not connected to my agent directly unless I intentionally connect them. Thus, these collections can be deleted without deleting the associated agents. The combined collection allows me to view or combine data from various collections into a single collection that I can export. This is especially useful for comparing data points across multiple sites. Let's go back to the Agents tab. Clicking on an individual agent displays the Agent Dashboard, which is where I manage my agent and associated data collection. To change the amount of data that I see, I simply change the number of items per page by clicking on the drop-down box in the right-hand corner of the page. Notice that just next to the drop-down, I can see the total number of items that this agent has collected. If there are more rows of data than I have set the window to display, I can list through these pages by clicking on the next or previous arrows found on the same line. I can also use the refresh button to reload the data that the agent has collected. Using the refresh button is helpful when my agent is actively running, so I can see the new data being collected. The agent dashboard is also where I like to check my data to make sure that it resembles what I expected when I built the agent. I typically look for empty cells or strange data. I see some empty cells, but it's okay because I remember that I set these fields to be optional because they weren't always found for every product. Once I have confirmed the quality of the data collected by this agent, I want to reorder some of the fields so that the data is more useful to me. Since I want to carry the very best tablets that I know people will want, I'm going to arrange the columns so that next to the name of the tablet I have the star rating and then the number of customer reviews. To do this, I click on the wrench found in the upper right-hand corner next to the Views drop-down. A pop-up window will appear that shows the fields I am collecting for this agent. I am simply going to click and drag Star Rating and Customer Reviews into the first two positions after the Product Name field. When I am satisfied with the ordering of my fields, I click Save. I now see that Star Rating and Customer Review are the second and third columns of my data respectively. As a business owner, I want to make sure that my information is up to date. So I'm going to run this agent each week and organize the data into a view that shows me only the very best tablets. I only want tablets above a 4.7 star rating and that have had more than 100 customer reviews. To do this, I need to create a custom view. Click on the Views button on the bottom toolbar. 
Create a new view by clicking on the Create a new view button that is found in the lower left hand corner of the views pop up window. Name the view. I'm going to call it 4 star rating over 100. I notice that there are a lot of fields in my agent's field names list that I didn't specifically add. These are fields that are automatically collected by Mozenda as system fields. I see this because it has system labeled in gray next to the field name. Remember these. They will come in handy later. I now need to select the fields that I would like to display in my new view. To do this, I'll follow the instructions in the dialog. Check the fields that you want to appear as column headings. Drag fields to change their order. I decide that I want to include all of the fields that I captured in my agent. I will check the boxes next to Product Name, Price, Star Rating, Customer Review, SKU, and Model Number. I will now drag the fields and arrange them in the order that I want. Product Name, Star Rating, Customer Reviews, Price, SKU, and model number. As I look down in the fields that Mozenda has automatically collected for me, I notice that there is a created field. I am going to activate the created field. This system field gives me the date and time that each specific line was created. Now that I have chosen all the fields that I want to see in my new view, I'll go to the criteria tab, which is found next to the column headings tab in the new view pop-up window. The Criteria tab allows me to set conditions on my views of the data. I will add a criteria by clicking on the Fields drop-down and choosing a field I'd like to filter. The first criteria I want to set up will be to only include items in this view that have a 4.7 rating or higher. I can set this up by clicking on the Star Rating field in the Fields drop-down menu. As I do this, a pop-up window will appear that asks me to set the criteria that I want associated with the star rating field. When I click on the drop-down, I see I have a lot of options to choose from. I will choose Is Greater Than and type 4.7 into the value field and click Add. I do the same thing for customer reviews by selecting the Greater Than criteria and typing 100 in the box, then clicking Add. Now I look at the criteria as a whole and see if I need to make any changes. I notice that the first criteria for the created field is good, but that the second criterion, Customer Reviews, has an OR in front of it. I want both criteria applied to the view, so I'll click on the OR and change it to an AND. This will make it so that both criteria will apply to each row in order for it to be populated in my view. I will now save the view by clicking Save. The new view will now be loaded into the Agent Dashboard so that I can view it. This gives me the clean and up-to-date information that I need. Now that I have filtered out the data that I don't want with my new view, I want to export the data to my computer. To export data, I will click on the Export button which is on the bottom menu bar. The export dialog appears and I'll fill out the drop-down questions. First, what to include in the file. I only want to download the 4.7 star rating over 100 view and I notice that this is the view that I am looking at in the background. That makes it the current view, so I will leave this setting as is. I then can choose the file format. I will also leave this as CSV because it is compatible with most spreadsheet programs. I will then click Download. My 4.7 star rating over 100 view will now be accessible on my computer. I don't want to have to come in and export all of the data from the web console each time my agent runs, so I'm going to set this agent to publish the data that it has collected automatically. To do this, I will click on the Publish button on the toolbar. When I click on Publish, a Publish Data window will appear, which will give me a couple of different publishing methods. None, FTP, Email, and Amazon Servers. 
I would like Mozenda to send me an email with the data attached after the agent has finished scraping. To do this, I will insert my email address, in this case, demo at mozenda.com, in the email address box, and then answer the questions in the drop-down menu. I only want to receive the 4.7 star rating over 100 view, so I will choose that option in the What to Include in the File drop-down. CSV as the file format, and when the agent completes in the when to publish the file drop-down. I'll click Save. Now, after every time I run this agent, it will automatically email me the CSV file of the 4.7 star rating over 100 view, containing only products with a 4.7 or higher star rating and more than 100 customer reviews. This concludes the training on using the web console to manage your data. Please continue your training by watching the video entitled Managing Agent Jobs.